Hey folks, Tim from PoolProAnswers.com here. Yeah, I'm back at this same pool. You might recognize it. It's looking a little cloudy, a little funky. Uh, we're noticing we need to take a look at the internals of this DE filter. And since I haven't shot anything about DE filters yet, I figure this would be a good opportunity to do that. So we're gonna dive in. I'll try to explain things along the way. I've already bled the air out of or the water out of this uh, filter which you always want to do before you open up a filter canister. You want to make sure the, the uh, pump isn't going to turn on as well. We can see here that this is already past the uh, off timer. So the pump won't turn on by itself, uh, but just an added layer of protection. We'll turn off the breakers as well. All right, we'll just pop this guy right off. Make sure you use sunscreen. This is just the head of an old rubber mallet. I carry that instead of the whole mallet. Now you might think this is incredibly dirty, and you'd be right. Uh, some of that is DE. See, the white stuff there is the DE. The black stuff is all the stuff that the filters picked up. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this thing out and we're going to go wash it off. So something to watch for when you're pulling this off is make sure you have an o-ring here. Uh, that's a common thing that gets lost when you um, take this manifold off here. Um, another mistake that many make is they start unscrewing these thinking they're going to pull the, the whole thing will just fall apart. And what I like to do is pull the whole thing out uh, before doing that. Um, usually you can get it clean without doing that um, so I like to pull it out as, as one complete unit but just make sure you don't lose that o-ring there because if you lose that o-ring stuff's gonna get by the filter and you're gonna have a dirty pool so just pull pull everything all together straight out and down okay so there get a look at what that is make sure you got your o-ring here you're gonna want to clean all this stuff around uh, we'll clean out in there as well. All right, so we're just going to spray this thing off, going all the way around, getting inside as much as we can. If we need to, we'll pull off um, the uh, top manifold. I try not to if I can avoid it because I don't like putting these things back together. So I got my fine tip. This is all you need. Don't let anyone sell you a special tool or anything. So I only got a little bit wet, <laughs> but I can assure you that this is as clean or cleaner than any backwashing would get uh, through one of the valves. Now I want to call your attention to a problem right here. See some pressure cracks, fatigue in the manifold. So this will fail. It hasn't failed yet. The cracks aren't all the way through, but it will fail. So we'll make sure we take some pictures and tell the homeowner uh, make sure that they know that's the o-ring I don't know if I pointed that out before so make sure you clean this stuff up because it'll look pretty nasty first thing I like to do is make sure we get some some lube on here on the uh, main o-ring here o-ring looks pretty good Inspect it for any cracks because cracks will fail 
once the thing gets under a little bit of pressure. So you see how that's a little bit big right there? Let's see if we can shrink that up with some cold water. And don't worry, the cold the water will not wash off the silicone. The silicone is not water soluble. New gloves. You see there? It tells you where to lift, but everything looks pretty good. Don't over tighten those those uh, ring nuts and don't push down on here just push down right here make sure that's seated okay very good take the lid make sure that's clean the seating surface now something that a lot of people don't think about um, when they put this on is the viewing angle of your pressure gauge. So I like to close the pressure gauge to its where it's going to set once we get everything put back together. Uh, you don't want it facing the wall because then you have to turn around and look at the back every time. So I like to just make sure that's on pointing in the right direction. That's something that really only pool guys pay attention to because we're the ones that need to see that. Set. That valve. Homeowners should be looking at that valve, but a lot of times they're not. All right. So with this band, you're just making sure it's grabbing on both sides of this. Make sure it's not cattywampus anywhere. Whoop! Almost lost it. And make sure this goes on in the same order as barrel nut assembly. Make sure it goes on in the same order that it came off. Get a few threads on here this one. Slide her up. Okay. Now hopefully you have a drill. If you do, just get it close and then you're gonna beat it with the uh, with the mallet. Seating, seating it. So you go all the way around. Get these springs to come back together. Same thing again. So I don't know if you caught that. These were touching a second ago, and then I beat it, and now they're loose again. The coils. So we keep doing that until the coils don't move anymore. So now our next step is to bleed it and then add the DE. Um, you don't want to run this too long without DE in it because then you're going to get stuff uh, mixed in with the DE and that's not good either. 